Hi everyone. So I'll be doing review on the Apoe Lip Cushion Mousse Tint, and this one I think they just recently released it. So it comes in six different shades. So the packaging itself is a long, slim packaging, but the inside it has that cushion applicator. It does take a few seconds. Um, first time using it, it does have that push button at the end for you to click click the liquid out. But once the liquid actually comes out, you only need like a couple of clicks for you know more liquid to come out and again the cushion it is very easy to apply but you know if you worry about hygienic reason obviously remember to just rub the excess away once you finish using it now again they have six different colors so the first color this is CR01 it is supposed to be a coral undertone and for me this is more like a coral pink color it is definitely very very pigmented when you apply it as a gradation it's very very easy to apply as a gradation but I also like it as a full look because it makes my lips feel very fuller it apply application wise is so easy to apply and I love how pigmented it is as well which is great now next is CR02 and I love love this color to be honest I don't really see any coral undertone to this for me this is more of like my usual favorite color which is like a mauvey reddish pink shade I really really like this color a lot I've worn this a few times now and it does last quite a long time it lasts about six hours again this one doesn't give any stain on my lips which is really great because I was worried about you know usually tint that do give you quite a strong stain but all of these colors they don't really do that except for the pink shades and the red shades which I'll talk more very very soon but this is how it looks like after six hours and it still look really great on my lips now the next shade is an orangey shade and this one is called OR01. If you're looking for a particular orange shade that speaks out, this is the perfect orange shade color. I really really like this because it's not like your typical coral orange shade. It's just plain full orange shade with like red undertone. I really like it. It is very pigmented. It is so vibrant. I just love it a lot. And I feel like this particular orange shade is great for any skin type. And I mean for my skin tone, it just makes the whole look looks like amazing. I really really like this shade a lot. Then the next shade is a pink shade. Even though this is the only color that is called like the pink shade, I feel like you know we call a CR01. It does have that pink undertone to it. So anyway, this one for me is more like a fluorescent pink color. It is very very pretty, but but again because it's so vibrant and it's a pink shade, pink undertone, it does leave you a little bit of stain to it. So just be aware of that. But other than that. I really do like the color is definitely very vibrant I don't know how many times I say vibrant in this particular video but again all of the colors are just beautiful now the last two shades they are both red shades so obviously they have that red undertone this one is called berry bam and this one is definitely like a berry reddish color shade for me again because it has that red color it does leave a little bit of stain but it doesn't leave as much stain compared to the next shade which I'll show you really soon but again I really do like this color a lot it's definitely very, very pretty but again it didn't really look a, look a bit like the model um, but I do like how it turns out on my lips anyway now next is RD02. This one has a bit of that orange brown undertone to it. However, staining wise, this one gives the worst stain compared to the other six, uh, other five colors. But I do like it. However, if you're the type that don't really want a lot of stain on your lips, I would definitely avoid the last two shades. But if you don't mind the staining, this would definitely last a really long time. I wore this for about eight hours and still it didn't budge at all. Probably due to to the staining but at the same time it's still pretty comforting but it does leave you that really strong stain on your lips this is how it looks like after eight hours so overall i like all of the six colors i like how beautiful they all are i wish they have a few more variety shades for me to choose from but unfortunately these are the colors they have available um, that they have released but i really do like all of them so that's why i'm giving it quite a high rating out of all of the six only two colors didn't really 
only match the model but every other colors they are very very similar and comfort wise and moisture wise they are very comforting very moisturizing i really like it it does contain some kind of oil as well to make your lips moisturizing and i didn't mind the matte finish because it's still pretty comforting so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next video bye